Hi guys, for this tutorial, I will share how to send data to Firebase using Raspberry Pi. Before that, please like, share, subscribe, and press the bell to get the latest update from us. I'm using Raspberry Pi 4 model B Maker Head Non-Contact Temperature Sensor MLX Dan0614 and USB-C adapter Of course, you need an SD card with the latest Raspberry Pi OS There are 4 connections for this sensor V-in to 3.3 volt, ground to ground SCL to SCL and SDA to SDA from this connection, we know that it uses I2C communication. Next, I remote my Raspberry Pi through SSH using VS Code. We need to enable I2C module in Raspberry Pi. Write sudo raspi config. Choose interface options I2C. Yes. And OK. Then we need to restart the Raspberry Pi. Right, sudo reboot. After reboot, we can verify again if the SQLC have been enabled or not. Right, this command. So from here, we can know the SQLC module have been enabled. For this tutorial, I will use Adafruit Blinka library. To install it, write this command. Then we will install library for MLX90614. Write this command. Last but not least, we need to install Firebase library for Python called Firebase. Okay, write this command. Okay, we have done install all the libraries required. Now we will proceed to write the program, create a new Python file under documents folder. For example, rpy firebase mlx90614.py. You can use example program that I shared in Cytron tutorial page. There are few parts you need to replace. First is your Firebase database secret. Go to your Firebase. 
this is mine I put the title of RPI MLX90614 find the database secret Next, we need Firebase Project ID And the last one is Database URL Go to Real-Time Database Before we can run the program, we need to update database rules, change the status of read and write from false to true. Then click publish to make changes. Okay, now I will try to run the program. Right click on the file and open in integrated terminal Write python3 and the file Oh, I forgot to save the file Let me save first Press enter to execute the program Ok, currently it reading the ambient temperature and object temperature and send to Firebase for every 2 seconds Let's check the data on Firebase Ok, the data have been stored here New path is created called MLX90614 Under this path have another 2 channels called set and push For set, the data keep updating in the same location You can see it changing for push, it keeps creating a new path with a unique code and store the data inside it If you need a data history, you can use push method If you just want to see the latest data, you can use set method So, that's all for today I'm Idris from Cytron Technologies, good luck and thank you for watching.